All right, guys, this is our last video of the year, and we're going to talk about evaluating exponential functions. So that's functions that look like this. And if you remember, function would be, um, it looks like an equation. It is an equation, but instead of what we would call y, we're going to use this. We call that f of x. Remember, this is not f times x, f of x. And basically, we're just saying we're going to replace that x with a 3 and see what happens when we put that instead of this x. We'll do that with a problem. We'll get into a little more complicated ones where we've got several things going on. But if we're careful about them, these are going to work out just fine. So let's just get started. Here's our first one. Now, like uh, I said just a second ago, f of x, right? f of x. You don't say f times x. You know, it looks kind of like that, but it's says f of x. And again, what we're saying is wherever there's an x, you're going to replace it with what's in the parentheses. So what we end up doing is we end up rewriting this and we got five and we've got this six as a base, but again, where there's this X here, right? So right there, we're gonna put this three, right? That's why we're doing this, right? In other words, X and X, three and three. Okay, well that's fine, right? We just gotta work this out. This is five times this base to the third. So just, okay. I got that. 5 times 6 times 6 times 6, right? And it turns out 6 cubed. Well, we just worked this down. Now, again, really important to do this with some scratch paper. Don't try to do this in your head. It's just way too hard. Uh, you don't want to make a mistake. And again, just take your time, write it out, and you'll eventually get an answer of 1,080, okay? That's how that works. Well, let's try another one. We gave a little preview of that before, right? A little more complicated, so there's an extra term. But again, if we're careful about it, it doesn't have to be that big a deal, right? So again, instead of this x, now we're going to put a 5, right? See, there was an x here. Now we're going to put a 5, and you just write it out. 11 times 3 to the power of 5 plus 7, right? Here was how we replaced it, okay? So that's not bad, right? Again, now three to the fifth, if you multiply that out, that turns out that's 243, right? Three times three times three times three, you do that five times, you'll get 243. And again, remember, order of operations, we multiply before we add. So we gotta multiply this out, 11 times 243, 2,673 plus seven. We add them up, we get 2,600 and 80 and once again there's our answer 2680 hey we're on a roll this is going great all right all right slightly more complicated because now we've got a minus not too bad but you know again just be careful right so here's what we're going to replace instead of that x we've got a 2 so this is going to be 10 right to the power of 2 minus 12 right here we go. Let's just make sure that's a little more obvious. That's a parenthesis, right? You see that's a parenthesis? Okay. Well, I got that. 10 squared. Well, that's just 100, right? 100 minus 12. That's just 88. Oh, man. This is so cool. We're almost to the last one. Okay. Here it comes. Last one. Now, what I've got is, again, think about the, the x's. Here's my x's. Where there's an X, I'm now going to put a 3. Okay, that's going to be awesome. But decimals, they don't scare us because we're just careful, right? 6.4 to the third power, right? Minus 11.63. Okay, now again, just on your calculator, very carefully work that out. 6.4 times 6.4 times 6.4. You're going to eventually get... 2,000, or it's not 2,000, 262.144 minus 11.63. Okay, I know there's a lot going on there, but just be careful, plug it, in, plug it in, write down each step, you'll get this just fine. And you eventually get 250.514. Okay, Let's put a box around it, got ourselves an answer, and there you go. Hey, it's been a lot of fun, been a great year, have an awesome summer.